Hi everybody, this is BB Davis for BB Love Sports. Where sports and gaming is the exquisite fusion. Welcome to week three football scores. Yes, it's game day. And yes, my voice has been in and out. But we're gonna work on that, okay? Alright. So let's get into it because we have a 10 o'clock game tonight. All eyes are going to be on that game. That's going to be Colorado and Colorado State. I have a personal POV that's going to be coming just specifically for that game. So we're going to lock it in real quick because we're at the evening hours. So I hope everyone has been doing well. Well enough. The skies for fall are coming in. We're still in Indian summer. The sun sets. The early mornings, just the whole sky has been just beautiful. You can see the changes, the scenery, all of that. So let's take it in as we say goodbye to summer. We enjoy Indian summer. And then we say hello to fall. All right, Bethune-Cookman Wildcats would take on... The Miami Hurricanes, 48-7. Miami Hurricanes would take this one. Not a shock to a lot of people, but it's all cool. Virginia State Trojans face off with St. Augustine Falcons. Trojans would be the victor, 55-12. Shaw Bears and Bowie State Bulldogs. We don't have scores for this. This game started at 1 p.m., so we're just going to keep it moving. Central State, Ohio, Marauders face off with Tuskegee Golden Tigers. The Golden Tigers will win this one 27-21. Norfolk State, Spartans, and Temple Owls. The Owls will take it 41-9. Again, 41-9. All right, Albany State, Georgia Golden Rams, and Morehouse Maroon Tigers. We don't have incoming scores for that one. That game did go down at 3 p.m. Benedict Tigers and Lane Dragons. Benedict is still trying to go for that undefeated. Okay. 54-7. Delaware Hornets. And Richmond Spiders, that game would be at 3.30. We don't have incoming scores, but we do have some for Hampton and Howard. This is always a good matchup. 35-34, Hampton would win it. North Carolina Central Eagles and UCLA Bruins, no score for that. This game did start at 5 p.m. And this is the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. And that's right. Garner Webb. We have, uh, this is the Running Bulldogs and Tennessee State Tigers in Nashville. That game did start at 6 p.m., so there's no final scores or any scores in between there. Another 6 p.m. game is going to be North Carolina a t and Elon Phoenix. More 6 p.m. games that we don't have scores for is Florida A&M and West Florida Argonauts. Okay, so it's a lot of evening games. So, shout out to the schedulers. Yeah, because, you know, it's been a hot, a very hot summer, you know. So, keep the players safe. Um, keep spectators safe and all of that. Let's just go ahead and put those games at 6 p.m. So, for like Milestone, Bears, and Arkansas Pine Bluff, Golden Lions, we don't have any incoming scores for these. Uh, Johnson C. Smith University Golden Bulls face off with Bluefield, yeah, Bluefield State. Big Blues. That's going to be at the Urban Belt Complex in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, this is a home game for Smithites. And that game is a 6 p.m. game as well. So a lot of these games are at 6. So if you don't have any incoming stats as well, then, you know, that's just what it is. Um, there are some exciting matchups there. Southern 
University Jaguars, Alabama A&M, they face off. You have Prairie View Panthers and SMU Mustangs, they face off. Uh, let's see, what's another one that caught my eye? Oh, yeah. 7 p.m. Later game. This is going to be in Blythewood, South Carolina at the Westwood High School until Allen gets their football field in final. Ready to go. Well, Allen University face off of Kentucky State Thoroughbreds. So we just have to see what happens there. And JSU, that game is a later game, 8.30 p.m. Bobcats see them in San Marcos, Texas. They face off of Texas State Bobcats. All right. So shout out once again to the evening games. <laughs> That's right. But we do have some games in progress. And for week three of college football, it's just been any given vibe, okay? Any given vibe. And as I do this sport broadcast, I'm watching the most incredible sunset. It's just beautiful. And then the clouds are just beautiful as well. It's just it's just beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, I love it. All right, everybody. So, when we're talking about college, it's any given Saturday, okay? And whatever day they may play. But we have right here, Penn State, Illinois, the final, 30-13. Penn State will take that one. LSU and MS State, 41-14 LSU for the win. Notre Dame with Central Michigan, 41-17 Notre Dame. San Diego State and Oregon State, final score, 26-9 Oregon State for the win. Kansas State and Missouri, 30-27 Missouri would take the win. Boston College and Florida State, Florida State, 31. Victor, 31-29 final score. Weber State and Utah. Utah will come on back with this one. 31-7. In progress, we got about 30 seconds left for Iowa and Western Michigan. Iowa clearly has the lead on this one. 40-10. to 10. So they should take that win easily. Uh, when the missed in the fourth quarter with about eight minutes to go. You're locked into this game. This is Alabama, South Florida. This was not an easy game to watch, but a realistic game to watch. You don't have Alabama sitting there on top, just blowing out of everybody. Right now, you have teams that are coming back for nice touches. Score right now is 10 to 3. Fourth quarter, 8 minutes, 43 seconds. Alabama does have possession of the ball there. Fourth and four at Alabama 41. All right. South Carolina and Georgia. Georgia would pull it out for the win. 24-14. Final score. This game was played in Georgia. All right. Minnesota and UNC. Final. Check out the Tar Heels. 31-13. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're making some noise there. Okay, I love that. All right, Northwestern and Duke. Duke was like, hey, it's going to stay North Carolina Day, baby. 38-14. Washington and Michigan State. This is in the third quarter. This game is live in action. About 10 minutes left in the third quarter. That second and 12 at the Michigan 33. Washington is holding on with the obliteration. Okay, 38-0. Maybe Michigan can get on the boards because they do have possession of the ball at this point. Ohio State was like, here we go. You said, BB, we were a little shaky last week. Well, check it out. 63, we got you. 63-10. Laugh on me. I didn't say that they were trash. I never said that. I just said things look a little shaky. And they do for a lot. It's still it's gonna be on the way. I stand on that. Okay, we're in week three. 
don't start going into shambles until after that week five is finished. Okay? All right. <laughs> Everybody's trying to find their footing. <laughs> Oklahoma and Tulsa, 66 17, Oklahoma, for the win. And then you have. North Carolina Central face off of UCLA the end of the third quarter. This is not a shocker. These are out of conference games. But just like the coach said for Central, look, we are excited to play these games. It gives our team, you know, the stretch beyond what they face. And you can only get better with experience, no matter what the score. But what is the score, BB? That score? <laughs> 59-0 in the third quarter. Hopefully, Cedric can get on the board. Tennessee and Florida, this is the first quarter. This game is going down. All right. 7-0. But you never know who's going to win this game. It's just now starting, okay? Uh, Northern Colorado, Washington State, 57-14. Washington State does have possession of the ball. This is at first and 10 at the North Colorado 26. That's right. Third quarter with about two minutes left before they go into the final four of this game. So that's pretty much anybody's vibe right there. All right. So what's happening at 7.30? You got Georgia Tech and Mississippi. Okay, 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. You got Bowling Green and Michigan. Who you got? Hawaii and Oregon, that's at 8 p.m. Wyoming and Texas, 8 p.m. So then, 10 p.m. Live. This is the game that a lot of people are going to be talking about. Lock it up. Colorado State and Colorado, 10 p.m. I will be doing live play-by-play -play for this game so hey we are ready for this one it's a lot of talk out there i feel just a slight bit of my pov and then we'll start that next segment let the light shine on the game the preparation the team and let's not make it so much about where you can't say what you got to say, of, co of course. You know what I'm saying? Step to it. Say what you got to say. But step back off of it and let people play the students. Make it about them and not about you. Of course, we know that it's so unsportmanlike conduct. And I like to say, with my pun, uncoachmanlike conduct. You know, when you're talking noise... And then you say something, your point of view, you expect to get a retort. Hey, they're going to retort. And that's what is happening. So we'll get to that. So where are we at with these two teams coming at 10 p.m.? Colorado State Rams are 0 and 1. All right. They already then took an L. Colorado Buffaloes, 2 and 0. They've already shut down a lot of the chatter that's been happening since. Coach Sanders has left Jackson State and now with Colorado Buffaloes and making some noise against some really good teams that many thought they weren't going to get the win. So, if we could really get that focus, which is not going to happen. I mean, listen, it's not going to happen because everything is already in shambles. Oh my God, everything is already in shambles. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. But the glasses talk, the shades talk. You know, sometimes don't give teams ammunition that are already on a high. And then they're hungry even enough because of the disrespect. Well, listen, some of this is a little bit of karma. You know, I've spoken on it on these segments. And we'll talk about that some more. But the one thing about karma, you can get karma. But another testament is how resilient you stand up to it. And then you can... You know, start afresh. That's right. 
Okay. So, we'll be getting some more incoming scores coming up for college. We're going to the stats on tomorrow. We'll let everybody get everything in because I know how it is. When you're sitting on press row and you're trying to get your own stats, any type of scenario could happen and you're not getting it. So, then that could happen if you are the guest and you have the host and you're just maybe not getting those stats out there or those scores out there yet. So that's why everybody just kind of like gets everything once all the games are done and then it's sent up and then you can go from there. All right, everybody, I'm BB Davis. I'm going to get some more tea on deck and then I'll come back and we'll talk about some of these games and take a look at some of the stats. Keep it up with me, BB Davis for BB Love Sports for Sports and Gaming is the exquisite fusion.